Hello everyone, welcome back to the Geek Blend. I'm Jeff. And I'm Jason. And welcome to another episode of The Cantina, where me and Jason review craft beers for you guys every Tuesday. Yay! And we have a new one that you just picked up recently Beer. that is was sold out. It's a collaboration between Untitled Art and yeah. Drecker Brewing Company. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I didn't pick it up. Um, oh it was, yeah, it Logan, was a gift. Logan got it for you. That's yeah, okay. a gift. Thanks, um, Logan. A very nice gift. Um, I have been literally sitting on this beer for over a month in... Uh, I, I this, honestly, I'm not even kidding you. This I, I had to literally put this beer like in the back of my fridge, so it wasn't like I would forget about it, but it was just like an out of sight, out of mind thing because yep. I was just like, I got The day brought it to me, I was like, shit. I'm all about coconut. I love coconut flavored things. Um, and and it's a sour. I don't know. Everything about this beer just sounded amazing. And and Logan was like, you got to try this beer. It's it's really really good. And I was like, dude, I'm going to drink it that night. And then I put it off and I was like, I got to drink it on camera. Cause I, I appreciate that. I, yeah. I want to yeah. share it for Absolutely. one, but at the same time, I think it sold out relatively fast. I've never seen it again. Um, I didn't see unfortunately it. here's, here we are, you know, going down the same road again. We're drinking another beer that, um, more than likely you're not going to be able to get maybe another go around here sometime soon. So I feel like at least, you know, when we do these things, it, it kind of gives us an idea like, Hey, this is good. You know, we even have like proof going back and watching these videos if yep. we ever do and be like, Oh mm-hmm. yeah, we did like that beer. Yeah. But yeah, this is, uh, another one from untitled art. At Untitled Art, we are all about bringing you the newest string concepts and styles, showcasing our amazing artists and collaborating with our friends around the world. Whether we're making sparkling water or craft beer, we are evolving the art of that beverage to create something you'll love. Every can or bottle that is brought to your lips has been wrapped with artwork one of our artists made just for that drink. We truly hope you enjoy the experience of drinking Untitled Art. Support artists. Drink Untitled. (laughs) <laughs> the one that my one qualm with this brewery is I feel like all their cans look the same. I'm just getting it's ready to say very that. Very hard to distinguish what is what. Yes, I think they do change like the color patterns and shit like that. There's the last one we did with but, them was that loaded French toast imperial stout. It's just but yeah, yeah it's, it's very always, it's very similar. Yeah, yeah, it's always a box. It's always just like a mm. white box, a white label with some you know yeah. some some shit That's sprinkled all over it. Right there. Um, but I think what they're doing now is they're doing these collaboration mm-hmm. projects with other breweries. Uh, this one with Drecker Brewing. I, like I said, I, I did not, I, I never even heard about this beer. Really had no clue. Um, because usually my only, uh, coming, coming across of, of Untitled Art is just what I see out on the, the, yeah. the shelf. Um, but like I said, it's, it's so damn hard to, to just kind of distinguish what's what. Um, cause I feel like when I see that untitled art label, I really got to pay attention to what is under it, like what the beer actually is. Cause if I don't, uh, I'll be like, Oh shit, I've already had that before. Mm-hmm. Cause it, like, it, like I said, there's just not much to distinguish these things or tell them apart. This, with that being said, this is a, uh, this is the one they call the, uh, the mango coconut sticky sour. I mean, all that right there just sounds <laughs> fucking delicious, amazing. Um, there's not really much to show off. Like I said, the label yeah, it's is very pretty similar. mundane and boring. And um, so, um, yeah, Untitled Art Brewing and Director Brewing, I guess, are both out of Wanaki. Oh, okay. It says it's brewed can by. Untitled Art and Drecker Brewing in Wanaki, uh, Wisconsin. I'm guessing that's the yeah. So I, it, these are two breweries <clears throat> I don't know much about. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we'll we'll do our uh, research. But this is a uh, uh, Berlin. I can't even talk today. I actually had work done on my mouth, and half my a quarter of my mouth was numb all this morning. Berliner style Weiss ale brewed with mango, coconut, cinnamon, brown sugar, and milk sugar. Uh, what doesn't sound good about that? I See, mean, with me too, a coconut is hit or miss. But if it's like I like actual coconut, like natural coconut, like real coconut, mm-hmm. not coconut flavored stuff. Yeah. And most likely with this brewer, they probably brewed it with real coconut. 
Hopefully. Because most breweries don't use flavored shit. A lot of them just brew right. with the real stuff. Right. I'm sure it was brewed with real mangoes. And I do like mangoes quite a bit. Uh, it's a, I just and I'm a fucking fan of sour beers. Yeah. So I, I'll give it a try. Anything, and mangoes are any. sweet enough. I it mean, sounds really fucking good. Though. A lot of the sugar that you're gonna get from a mango, I feel like, is 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 enough. You don't yeah. really need much else. I know. Real coconut. It's not as sweet. No, it's and not. Weird tasting is that I, like a you know your almond joys and things like that. I yeah. do like those. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, but like you're kind of missing the point of what actual real real coconut mm-hmm. tastes like. Um, just because of all the, the sugars and, and shit that they add into that to kind of, it's just like chocolate, you know, yeah. real cocoa is bitter and, mm-hmm. and it's the sugar that makes it delicious. Yeah, um, of course. so yeah, I'm hoping that the other ingredients that they've added into this are going to kind of ump the ante a little bit. I hope so. Dude, let's, let's do it. God, I've been waiting way too long to try this beer, so... He's like, he's like me though. Like we have like 50, 50 beers in the fridge, but we buy new stuff. I've had to fight off the urge Same to here. go to a liquor store. Me too. Because I'm like, if I buy more shit, I know. Oh my we're not God. gonna be able Look to. Look at that motherfucker, dude. This is a caramel beer. It's like it looks like yeah, like caramel, man. It really does. I don't know if you ever made homemade caramel. Yep. Where you like boil condensed yep. milk for like yes. hours? That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. I know. Like that looks like. <laughs> you oh. want a Werther's original? <laughs> <laughs> I like a Werther's original. <laughs> like a caramel candy, Shiny. You like a caramel candy? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, dude. that's exactly what that looks like, dude. That, that literally looks exactly like some like melted caramel. That's what that looks like. My Damn. God. That is a gorgeous looking beer. Yeah. Beautiful beer. What's it? I'm just trying to like. I smell cinnamon. Oh yeah, that comes out real quick. I get the cinnamon. I get the mango a little bit too. Like right, it's right under the cinnamon smell. That's why I'm like pulling it away, because unfortunately cinnamon masks and freaking covers up every little thing. It really does. It's the one thing I hate about cinnamon. That's that uh. Alligator, or what is it? Crocodile, angry crocodile thing, right over there. That uh, seasick oh, crocodile. crocodile, the one that we lost. Such a, we lost that review on the hard a, drive. Oh, we did. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. I have more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, seasick crocodile. Uh, such a good sour beer. Such a good sour beer. Um, unfortunately, it's got so much cinnamon in it that it right kind of masks that cranberry sour that you're looking for but I hope they bring it back next year yeah I got more of it it's I shouldn't say unfortunately but you're right though man there's other scents there I'm I I'm, my nose is, is it's nose just really is hard there, yeah but the cinnamon is covering it yeah up. it's almost it, like, a, like if you pull it away real quick you might get a little bit extra but the cinnamon so just it's pungent. overpowering everything it's right now it's literally right there I'm it's, hoping it doesn't overpower the flavor that's, me that's too. what I'm worried about right now yeah well let's but find out man God cheers damn, we've been waiting a long cheers Way too long. Well, unfortunately, that's... I shouldn't say unfortunate. You get a lot of cinnamon. A lot of cinnamon. The mango's right behind it, though. It's right there. It's there. It's not sour. No, not really. I'm I'm not not getting any tartness from it. Okay. At the end, I'm getting a little bit of coconut there. See, I was going to say... I Less than what I wanted. I wanted more coconut in there. If this I'll was be honest, called Cinnamon I'm, Mango, I'd be like, you, that you is, nailed it. That is what it should be called. Because the coconut is what I'm missing. Man. I it, I think it's there, but I think the cinnamon is is like just overpowering everything. It really is. It's, like it's, it's even cinnamon. overpowering the mango. Unfortunately. I mean, you can taste that there's a fruit mm-hmm. taste in it. Yeah. But the cinnamon just comes right in. It's like, no, no, no. Here we are. If you Check bit into first. a fresh mango, that's that's kind of the similar flavor mm-hmm. that you get. It, it it almost reminds me if you if you took cinnamon sugar and sprinkled it onto a mango and just bit into it. There this is literally what you're yeah. gonna get. This is your results. The coconut for me, I'm missing it completely. I'm not gonna bash it. I mean, and say like, oh well, you you fucked up. You know, it it, it could have been renamed. I feel it could have been called like cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon man. You know. 
mango cinnamon sticky sour, and you would have hit the nail right on the mango head. Mango cinnamon sticky bun sour. Is what yeah, it should have been called something like that. And if, anyway, you would have hit the nail right on the head. Uh, you could even you could have even left the sour out because. Honestly, I'm really, I mean, I've had some sour beers. I know. And some beers that have claimed to be sour, and you get just a, a hint and of tartness. We're like, tartness. where's the fucking sour? I, to be honest, there's one from Untitled Art we tried last summer. It was that uh, America Popsicle one. Yeah. That just tasted like fucking Kool-Aid. Yeah. No sour to it there's whatsoever. None. And it basically was a fucking uh, smear off ice. Yeah. It was and it was literally just tasted like It was not weed. even worth a dollar. And I think we paid like probably, it was probably like five dollars for the can. Yeah. It'd be six. Yeah. It wasn't even worth a fucking dollar. I'm pretty sure that was kind of like their uh, their little release beer because that was the first beer I'd ever seen by them whenever they released that here, at least here in Indiana. Like that one though, that, that pop, Rocket Pop was fucking awful. Yeah. It was terrible. I'm not going to lie. This is a good beer. It is. I, it's a very, very tasty beer. I just don't like being lied to, <laughs> I guess you could say. I don't... I, I just... I, 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 I like to be able to taste the things that I'm being told I'm going to taste when I buy a beer. Well, as big as a fan of, of coconut as you are, too. Right. I would be in your boat as well. Now, see, if I hated cinnamon, like if I was a person who like... Hey, I, sorry, my allergies are really hate cinnamon. Me, right? I would have taken one sip of this beer and threw it out the window and been like, where the fuck did cinnamon come from? Because I didn't see one thing on this can other than the ingredients yeah, on the back yeah. that said this is a cinnamon flavored anything. It really needs to have it on the, on the, in the title because like, it really, it's really overpowering does. everything. The cinnamon is so strong in this beer. Um, yeah, I, and it's literally all I'm getting. I mean, it, Me too. it just it tastes like a cinnamon flavored, a cinnamon fruit, a cinnamon fruit beverage. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> Which is a and weird I, thing to say. Well, and and like I said, we're not. I'm not complaining. It is a good beer. Yeah, it is a very very tasty beer. Um, just don't tell me there's coconut in here when I can't taste it. Yeah, don't. Because I don't know who can kiss taste in my face and tell me it's raining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I love that saying so much. <laughs> Seriously, though, <laughs> just don't. <laughs> uh. Now, now that I said I got coconut, like in the aftertaste before, mm -hmm. now I'm not getting it. I'm not getting. Uh. I'm serious. I mean, it, it, I I love a fresh mango. And this oh, is literally all I, I like. Now, I, I mean, honestly, I would eat that. I would literally peel a, you know, skin a, a mango, roll it in cinnamon sugar, and just eat it down to the seed. Uh, that, that would, would be work. delicious. Yeah, it would work. Yeah, that would be delicious. Because this. this is that's literally what this would remind me of. Um, yeah, like I said, it's just unfortunately, it's it's it's, it's, it's mistitled. I, I know. Feel. That's all it is. It's just another. I mean, this is a step up from what we've kind of experienced with them. I mean, other than the last beer yeah. that we had. The French Toast one was a fucking yeah, the French home toast, run. Yeah, the French Toast one was amazing. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I feel like they're they're kind of getting these dessert beers down to a science. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like they just need to really kind of rethink maybe. I, I mean, I'm guessing because they have to call it a sour for maybe the way that it was brewed in a certain style. Most likely. You know, that's just kind of how things go. But, I don't know. I'm just... If I'm going to drink a sour beer, I at least expect to be like, oh, ooh, that's... Shit, that's sour. I, that's I know that... Me. I know it's more of a Berliner Weiss ale, like which is what they say on the back. So, why why, why call it a sour when, it, when it's really not a sour beer? Mm -mm. I'm not. I mean, it's six percent getting... alcohol by volume too, and <sighs> who knows? And man, I tell you what, looking at this fucking thing on the label, it like look, looks like fruity pebbles. <laughs> they're, they're, uh, I, I know it's like, oh my god! I know it's so petty. To Artwork say by like... this person on the back. I'm yeah. like, you you put your name on that? <laughs> by, by whom? A fucking a five year old could draw that in a fucking preschool class. Yeah, I was gonna say by Timmy, Timmy and his uh his his pre K class. It's that it's that style of art that's that's garbage. It's like, oh, it's contemporary and modern. No, it's not. It's garbage. That's that's their garbage tier artwork. He just shoved a bunch of coming from a, a person who studied art and it is an artist who hasn't practiced art in a long time. But that is trash art. Trash. 
shoved a bunch of watercolors in your sinuses and sneezed on a canvas, yeah. and that's art. It's trash. Trash art. That's it's what I call the it. expression of their pain. Trash can art. Angu- <laughs> anguish that they've uh, embarked upon down so many roads that they've traveled. It's it's art from somebody you'd say good job, Timmy. Too. You know that's that's yeah. who it is. It's not. Yeah. Don't probably put don't kid, put your name on that. Probably some kid who got a participation trophy or playing t-ball. <laughs> gonna grow up and expect everything handed to him for the rest of his life son of a bitch just got coconut wrist my first sale did you and all of a sudden the cinnamon's like nah the fuck out of here i wish cinnamon came in and ruined it i wish i could get something but i mean it's man I, don't tell me it's don't tell me it's coconut when you never know coconut now i can't taste it very much i'm not getting any but for him to get none and me to get very little hints of it it's like I mean, it could be the fact that, I had, like I said, I, I literally, like, I had a quarter of my mouth numb, uh, just started getting feeling back in it about maybe an hour and a half ago. I wonder if they were uh, brewing this and the guy actually kicked in the whole thing of cinnamon. He's like, oh, fuck it, just leave it. He just knocked it over. <laughs> he just walked by on the ledge and was like, clink. <laughs> like, He's like, oh, oh, well, fuck it. Shit, it's, already, it's, it's fine. They already printed the labels. Who gives a shit? <laughs> They'll never know. Untitled Art has been very hit or miss, and it's to the point now where both of us, I'm sure, will be at the store like, do I really want to pay money for something there? Because That's the other problem. it could be it's a home always, run, or it could be a fucking disaster. It's always so expensive. Mm-hmm. I know. Always. Oh, yeah. I, I was wrong when I was saying $5. It was probably more like 8 8 or 9 I Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure, I, I would love to know, I, I, I like, this was gifted to me, um, <laughs> but I know those You know cans. what's funny? I'm pretty sure I have an IPA in the fridge from them downstairs because the guy beer snob said it was selling out and people were loving it so much. We shall see. Yeah. It's to me. How do I want to word this without being an asshole? Without being an asshole. Yeah, that's the hard part. This is How a pretentious s- beer for pretentious beer drinkers. Untitled art to me. That's what it comes off as. I've seen reviews online where people like. Call it fucking garbage too. Right. Like, and they'll be like, "Okay, another one from Untitled Art. It's yeah. probably bad." Well, how do you? I, I, it is. It's almost like how do you bash it? And if you guys are watching this, we're not trying to be assholes. How do you bash? I mean, it's it's almost like uh, it's very. It's I'm not like paying that much money for your beer though. Like, if, if you're you can't saying, get it right. uh, yeah, it's like I want to say bad things about it, but I like it. I know. I I want. I know. Like I, I it's it, a good beer. It's just mistitled. That's yeah. all it is. It's it's a very very minute petty little thing to be sitting here nitpicking. But the point is, is like when you're when you're you know doing something like what we're doing and we're reviewing something and we're just talking about it, discussing it. You know, like I said, you're going by what you're being told is inside this this container. If if I just want to taste what I'm being told, I'm going to taste. I when I go to buy something. And I see, you know, if, if I'm a chocolate lover and I walk into a store and I see a new ice cream and it's like chocolate lover's delight and you open it and you take a bite of it and, and it tastes cinnamon. like fucking cinnamon, <laughs> you're going to be like, wait a minute. Hold on. What are you doing? What the fuck is going on here? And you look at the back. Oh yeah, there's chocolate in here and there's black, dark, dark, dark chocolate and there's this chocolate. But we also added a little bit of cinnamon into it. Uh... Okay, cool, but like, where in the fuck did you come up with chocolate lovers' delight? You know, like it just That's doesn't make pretty any good. Enough, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you know, it's like, it's just one of those That's things that you know. I, I lo- everything about this beer, reading about it just from the can, mm-hmm. you know, being a mango coconut sour, I was like, you know, I was like, yes, yes, and yes, all three of those things. Sign me up, you know. I was like, I want, I, I want to drink this beer. I mean, I literally, like I said, it's been sitting in my my fridge for over a month now, and I just had to kind of brush it aside mm. and be like, just save it. You can yeah. save it. You can wait. Be patient. Be a grown up. And now I'm like, yeah, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I would love to go my. I, I would honestly buy more of this beer. I really enjoyed drinking this. See, beer. I wouldn't. But it's I good. Just, I wouldn't buy more. I just didn't like, I just don't like the fact that you're going to tell me I'm supposed to taste these things and I'm not. That's the problem. Like, <sighs> rename it. Just no, rename the fucking beer. And if I'd I'm be- in the store and I don't see the back, I don't look at the back, and it, it says mango, coconut, sticky, sour, I take it to the register, I buy it. Yeah, most likely I'm going to look at the back. Let's say somebody doesn't. 
let's say they fucking hate cinnamon. They get home and they do this in a build of six. They throw it in there and they're like drinking this. Like, what the fuck is this? And they turn it over. Oh, brew with mango, coconut, cinnamon, brown sugar, like cinnamon, brown sugar, and milk sugar. Mm-hmm. And you turn it over, look at the front, it says mango, coconut, sticky, sour. I know, man. I'm it's, sorry. It's what the, the fuck? It's the conundrum of the year, almost. It's like what? Yeah, I, like I said, I, I, me personally, in my mind, I, I want to say mean and hateful things. Absolutely. Because I'm so mad yeah. that it's almost like a deceitful thing. It is kind of yeah. Time, I, I, I ended up liking it. Now, if I would have hated it, it would have been an even more just. Yes, fuck this beer. It's yeah. pointless. Mm-hmm. I you're you're not giving me what you're telling me. I'm I I just purchased. I'm to hell with it. But like that's where I guess the line down the table is being yeah. drawn. Where I'm like, yes, you lied to me. But guess what? I I'm still not mad because I like the beer. You on the other hand, yes, you lied to me, and you can kiss my ass yeah. because I don't I don't like what I'm tasting. Yeah. And I mean, no, I don't hate it. I think it's a decent tasting beer. Right. It's just that. Don't fucking tell me that it's coconut on the front and then all of it is, is ma- majority of it is cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Cinnamon brown sugar mixture is what you taste most of. Yeah. That's it. And it's like, okay. And uh, honestly, you, even, I, you guys got the sticky down. I don't know if you oh, can see yeah. that. Yeah. But like, you win. a film. Yeah. When you get something sticky, um, let me see yeah. if I can maybe get that on camera here. I want to come around here so I can maybe see if I'm picking this up. Oh, come. <laughs> um, come around. It's kind of hard to pick up on there. I'm really trying to see if I can grab it. There, maybe right there, you might see it. There, okay. Right there on that tip. So, like when, like sugar sticks to you know a surface, it's. I mean, it literally is sticky inside there. Like when you got a really sugary cereal and you got that like yeah, yeah. On, on the edges yeah. of your your. Uh, yeah. your there's just there's so many Evolve. there's so many ups and downs to this beer. I know. When I go in a store and see Untitled Art, I'm be like, I don't do I want to buy this? I know that's that's <laughs> where you know the the great and the upside of having like the 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 liquor stores that we have here around here that allow us to do the build the uh, build your own six pack or whatever. But the fucking price on them though, where man. you can break them Good up. Lord. Yes, I mean, <clears throat> I I guarantee. Logan probably bought a four pack of this. Mm-hmm. I guarantee he probably paid well almost to you know twenty twenty seven twenty eight dollars at least yeah for that four dollar or for that four pack. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, you some most of the time I think they cut us like a ten percent price break I think or something like that when you do a big a build six. You're still looking at paying around five something five fifty six dollars uh, uh, for a can of this. I'd say probably a can of that with a discount is probably still seven bucks. And yeah, I mean you're 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 pushing right around that price point. Is it worth it? I don't. You know, like I said, I would buy one can. Mm-hmm. I would not. I don't know if I'd ever be able to drink <clears throat> a whole four pack of that just because how sweet it is. Just the sugary sweetness of it alone. It's not sour. Like I'm really expecting a sour to be. I, that's yeah. the one, another reason why I love sour so much. I don't know why, but sours don't fill me up and make me feel like you know no. my stomach's like no. bloated out to here, and I'm all like mm-hmm. you know slowed down and laggish. And yeah. I don't know. I feel like I can drink sour after sour after sour after sour, especially on a hot day. Oh yeah. And I'm I'm get you know obviously I get to the point where I'm getting drunk, but like I don't feel like I'm weighed down. Yeah. This beer right here, it's almost heavy enough to kind of give me that feeling. Yeah. But at the same time, it's that sugary, just, I can feel it on my teeth. I know. Like, I literally can I feel it on my teeth almost, man. Like, my teeth are It's too much, man. Sticky it's and too green. Much. Do you want the rest of this? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I mean, shit. It's just way too much sticky and sugary. So... Where are you, where are you at? Oh, I'm, I'm thumbs down on this one. And see... I'm yep. gonna go up, and the like I said, it's a good tasting beer. Mm-hmm. I would probably give it a thumbs up if it had coconut. If I could taste coconut, yeah, but I can't. And, and, and I'm way I, too much if, if I could literally give you about a degree of thumbs up, <laughs> I'm gonna go about right there. So you're like a slight thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about a what is that? A 85 degree mm-hmm. angles thumbs up, like not so much. Is that a 90 degree? 
That's a 90 so. degree because the 180 is that way. Yes. Yeah, so that's that's, that's a 90 a degree. Angle, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna say about an 80 degree think. thumbs up. I'm not gonna go half. I wouldn't go halfway because I, I, I that would mean like I really dislike it. I, I I'm I'm almost like torn. I like the beer. I just there's that one little thing about it, and it's just the fact that it's mislabeled. That's the only thing I hate about it. I would, I, I mean, it, it, in my mind, if I, you know, obviously it's either thumbs up, thumbs down. Yes, I'm gonna, li I'm gonna say I like the beer, because um, I would drink it again, I would buy it again, not a four pack. That's a hard no. Um, oh hell no. But it, it's kind of like one of those beers now where I wish I had a four pack where I could sit down with multiple people. Because now I want to pick more and more people's brains about it and be like... Absolutely. What, oh, yeah. I, I, would, I wouldn't even want to like tell them what the beer's called. Like, yeah. just a blind well, what taste. Are you, what, are like, you, yeah. what are you... What are you tasting this? Because I guarantee every fucking person that drinks this beer is going to be like, Oh, I taste cinnamon. And I Some taste kind of fruit. Sweet. Some kind I of fruit. I taste something sweet and I taste cinnamon. What is it? Be like, oh, well, guess what? You're supposed to only taste mango and coconut. Yeah. <laughs> punch him in the face and be like get out of here you <laughs> you dumbass you picked wrong no i'm just kidding and um i'm sorry for the uh, bad things i've said about untitled art but i mean like that's kind of how i feel going forward about and i don't it's gonna be a really hard thing to get me to buy something from them anymore it really when you got so many other great breweries out there to choose from well that's the, that yes here that are a lot cheaper and way better quality beers that's the other problem with you know everything that we deal with now too as far as just <laughs> going to a liquor store i mean we literally have a beer uh, a liquor store here in indiana called beer snob that's literally the name of the store that's all they that's all they fucking literally pretty much sell is beer it's all it's, all it's craft a beer. whole store it's of beer. craft beer yeah that's how crazy the craft beer game has gotten that and they do you, really well too. yeah you don't even need to like have a liquor section a wine they used to be called the wine tree um, and they changed it to beer snob and they, they just specialize in, in craft beers. The owner just changed that location. He still has two or three wine, tre two wine two trees. Two other ones. He's got one on Washington and, and Darmstadt. Darmstadt. Yeah. So two other wine trees still, he's going to keep those. And hell, even the one on Washington still has a fucking shit ton of craft beer. Oh yeah. Beer. The one on Washington is originally where we, where all this started with the mix, the mix six, like. You can go in, pick any beer, you know, a six pack off the shelf. Break it down. Shit, I don't know if I really want to buy this. You just break take a beer down. out. They're like, shit, it break in. it down. Yeah. Take one. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they encourage care. it. They yeah. encourage it. They encourage it. Because they know they're going to sell the singles. Yeah. Because that's how well they do. Like, there's another liquor store around here that we that I go to. The guy is really nice who owns it. He doesn't let you break it down, though. That's the huge, it's the biggest problem with going there to buy beer. The only time I'll buy beer from him is if it's like Three Floyds or 18th Street something or you know, um, like. Toppling Goliath. Something I know that I'm going to drink or something I know I've something I've already had that I want to buy more of. Mm -hmm. I, but I'm not going to buy something I've never had from him because unless it's like a Duclaw Sour Me four pack, I'll fucking buy that. You know, like something I know I like. Right. But if it's something I've never had before or a brewery I've never had, I'm not going to buy one from him because... I can't break it down and I can't try it because that means I get home, I have four, I like one, or I would drink one and it tastes like garbage. Mm -hmm. And you're stuck, and you're with, stuck with three more. Just like if, if you would have bought a four pack of that heavy boots of lead, you would have had three sitting in your house you would have had to give away or sell to somebody because you don't want to drink it. Right. Unfortunately, oh. yeah, thumbs down for me, thumbs up from him. Well, kind of thumbs up from him. I'll, uh, I'll put that. Yeah. Well, Mostly thumbs up. Mostly thumbs Mostly up. Mostly thumbs up. Uh, but yeah, if you see Untitled Art in your, in your liquor store or your beer store where you go, I'll be honest, with what we've had from them, yes, we've had one that, that stuff French Toast was a fucking home run. I believe it was a collaboration, too. So how much of it is Untitled Art? How much of it is that other brewery? True that. And then we had that one last summer that was literally fucking Kool-Aid in a, in, a, in a can. That True was that. literally the biggest one of the biggest wastes of money we've ever had on a beer. Mm -hmm. And so if, if you see it out there, I, I, I would honestly not waste my money. Put it towards something you know is going to be good, or a brewer you trust, or something else we've recommended that is much better. Yeah, I would definitely probably steer clear of them, to be honest. But, there you go. So it's going to be hard going forward <laughs> to do that to actually this buy might one. Be yeah. the last untitled art <laughs> yeah. beer you. Well, see. I, I do have one already here, so yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we might as well see what happens. Yeah, it's true. Might as well see what. Well, happens. we'll see. But yeah, again, untitled art. If you saw this and hey, people have opinions. If you're mad, you're mad. Whatever. 
but we'll see. Shit happens. Yep. But you wipe I guess your ass I, and go on with life. I guess I went on a little bit of a rant on Untitled Art during the video, yeah. but oh well, who cares? That's just how it is. It's the way things go. When you lie to people about your, on your cane, then that's what happens. It's so. true. I, <laughs> hey, you're you're 100% right. Yeah. But thank you guys for watching this episode thank of the you. Cantina slash Rant on Untitled Art. Yeah. I do appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around. If you did through the whole video, we appreciate that very much, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, links down below in the description for all our social media, of course, uh, Discord. And all the ways you guys can help out and support the channel to yeah. bring you guys videos like this. We do appreciate it very much. To all of our current channel supporters, you guys are awesome. Thanks for all the support you do give to the channel. Thank you. We do appreciate it very much. We mm -hmm. do. We, guys, we love you guys. So thank you. Also, uh, leave a like on the video. It does help us out in that YouTube algorithm game. It does help people find us out. Even if you throw the dislike on it, that still helps us out. Yeah. Who cares? So if you dislike it, that's fine too. But uh, also subscribe if you do like what you see and you want to see some more. And hit the bell for notifications so you can stay up to date on everything we do. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the Geek Blend, I'm Jeff. And I am Jason. And if you geek about it, we're going to speak about it. We'll we are. We'll see you guys next mm -hmm. time. Bye.